Hello my friends, welcome back to another video. Many of you have asked me in the last video if I could do a video about how to create longer speech using the tortoise model. Uh, this is what we're going to do today in this video. And uh, in case you don't know what the tortoise model is, you're interested in voice cloning, make sure to check out my first video on how to clone any voice. And if you afterwards have the urge to create longer speech because you're not happy with the results or it's too short for you, then come back to this video because that's what we're gonna do today. We create speech for like, let's say 400, 500 words, but you can even go for longer text if you want to. And yeah, <laughs> let's not longer talk and just uh, get into it. The first thing we need to actually be able to create longer speech is text. We need uh, text that should be generated as speech. So uh, since I didn't have anything in mind, I thought all of you also have heard about ChatGPT. It's such a big hype right now. Everybody uses it. And yeah, I thought maybe, you know, for this video, we will just create our text using ChatGPT. And if you're interested in ChatGPT and if I should do a video about it, uh, yeah, please let me know in the comments. Also, if you have some really nice use cases or just share your experiences with ChatGPT in the comments, I would be very curious what you have already done with it. Um, yeah. All right. But um, now let's start with generating our text. And for that, I will write the following statement and I'm kind of curious what ChatGPT will give me or reply to that. Um, tell me in 400 words why um, why voice cloning is awesome. Ah, nice. <laughs> so apparently voice cloning isn't awesome, huh? Okay, I had to refresh the page and now it works. Okay, this is a little bit tedious to do, but okay. Now let's count if we really got 400 words. Kind of curious if that worked. And we have the word count here. That's 440, so it's not exactly 400, but pretty decent. And yeah, now we got our text generated, which we can use to create longer speech. And the next thing I will do is just export this file. So we will go to download and just export it as a plain text file. You can also do it directly on your computer. I don't know which text editor you prefer to use. Just copy this text, put it in there and save it as a text file. So that also works. So I will just rename this one as speech.text. So the next thing would be, I went to the tortoise repository on GitHub and the author documents kind of like how to use certain comments, what you can do. And here he states under read.py, the script provides uh, tools for reading large amount of text. And that's actually what we want. So we just have this one statement. We already know from the last video that we can create a voice or upload our audio samples and have a specific voice name. Uh, so that will be easy for us. We now created a text file, so we can also just upload that one and use it. And pretty much we have all the ingredients to create our long speech. So let's move on to a Colab notebook. All right, and now let's create our longest speech. And I already prepared the Colab notebook for it, so we can just jump into it. We first will clone the GitHub repository we saw here and install all required dependencies and modules. Each time you start your Colab notebook, you have to do it, unfortunately. This will always take like one or two minutes. Yeah, I think that's that's okay. You know, we get so much stuff done already. Like it's so nice that we have uh, models like this tortoise model also that Colab is offered for free for us. So I think waiting for one or two minutes is uh, just fair. Okay, so executing this cell now took me 46 seconds as you could see. And now let's move on to the next one. Okay, and executing the second cell took me two minutes and four seconds, as you can see. This takes a little bit longer because we have to download several models or model weights, as you can see here, and they all have different sizes. So yeah, that takes a little bit longer. Mm, in the comments, I got also asked if I can share which hardware I'm using. So I'll just quickly write NVIDIA SMI. So there you can see which hardware or GPU you got 
aside from a colab this can always vary and depending on which gpu you got you have a different computational power so executing certain cells can be faster or take longer depending on which gpu you got but this is like just additional information okay so this you should already be familiar with so we have our custom voice name mine is still martin you can take whatever you like uh, or as your preferred one so i will yeah of course execute this and have to choose or upload my five audio samples in case you don't have any audio samples and i don't know how to generate them as i said in the start uh, check out the other my first video on youtube uh, there i showed you how to voice clone and also how to generate audio samples so that will definitely help you okay now i will just select my five audio samples we'll up upload them now we have uploaded the five audio samples and the next step would be to upload our speech file or text file and for that we go to the data browser and just go to yeah our file that we created and per via drag and drop we can just upload it perfect now it's there and with this cell we will just store the content of the text file into a yeah, text variable it's called you can also change the name to whatever you like or prefer and this apparently doesn't work maybe uh, this way it should work oh no look yeah just for explanation we here change the directory to tortoise tts which is this one and now we have it one level higher so we yeah have to jump out and open it like this and now you can also just so and now you can see our text as this variable and i just want to show you uh why we need this video because this cell we used before and this way it wouldn't work because it says there are too many tokens in the text variable you see too much text provided and i guess this error you ran into before and wanted to create longer t uh, speech and that's why we're here for i just wanted to show you that um yeah it's not possible so what we would do next is we saw this comment before so we have python tortoise read.py and now we will use our text file which is this one, like one level higher, the speech.txt file, voice is Morton. So this one is dependent on what you choose here for your custom voice name. If you change the name, also make sure to uh, use the name in this statement accordingly. And I did as a preset ultra fast, because you will see this will take plenty of time to create the speech with 400 words this is a warning please don't execute this cell and <laughs> why is that i will show it to you we will now execute it and we'll also start like everything looks very successfully but what i can already show you pay attention to ram and laufwerk it's german which uh, would be like hard drive so um yeah, because I don't know why is that, but when I executed this cell, I always had the issue that my colab notebook ran out of RAM and then I, yeah, it kind of crashed and I had to start all over again. So I had to import all the modules, install them, upload my audio samples, and this is kind of annoying. So please uh, be patient and not uh, execute this one because then we will move on. I just wanted to show you that uh, this will happen again and now you see uh, my yeah kind of my session crashed and yeah you can try it out maybe it doesn't happen to you but it always happened to me so that was kind of annoying that i couldn't just use this comment and what i ended up doing then i went to the tortoise directory to the read.py file because in the end if you have a common line tool, there's always code behind it. And that's what I did here. I investigated the parts uh, that are executed and I kind of made an easier version out of this, uh, which is less complex, but also does the job. And that's actually what's going on in this cell. So we can go through it. Um, so our results will be afterwards in the um, path, which we have tortoise and then results 
a log form. So you see the um, directory is already, already there. Also, I guess I will be in, in uh, the voice Morton uh, stored. So that's what this command already di did. And here we define our text file. So here you have to make sure, like I named mine speech.text. If you change it, please change it here as well. Okay. What we will see next is that our text file will be read and as you can see we read all the individual lines of the text and join them with a blank. So imagine after that we have just one single line of all the text instead of having like several breaks and multi-line text. And so usually mm, the text will just get automatically separated. Remember we have like one, one line of text and then we will split it up to different segments or parts and those parts for those will then be speech generated and in the end we will combine all the generated speech to one big file. So if you're not happy in, in, in the way your text gets split up, you can use this pipe operator to uh, manually decide when to split up and for which parts you want to uh, have a specific audio file. For example, if you would do this uh, after every sentence, then you would create for each sentence one audio file and the, all the audio files will then be combined afterwards. But I didn't use the pipe operator, so I just let my text automatically get set, separated into different parts or segments. Separated and <clears throat> then you can also define a seed. That's not necessary, but when I have some yeah, like deterministic results. So they, they're not always changing. You all want to have a little bit of consistency, then you can use a seed. And then we will just create the voice out path, which already happened in the comment before, which you can see here that, yeah, that this folder already exists. We saw that. And now this we already had before. We will load the voice samples and our conditioning latents. Yeah, then we will use the single tokens. Those are now split into single fragments and each fragment we will now use and generate speech for, uh, which will be part of here. And then we have all parts and yeah, each time the generated speech will be appended to our all parts array. And finally, at the end, we will concatenate them and join them to one big audio WAV file. So we have basically single fragments or parts of our fully speech and combine them afterwards. It's also possible to exchange afterwards single parts in case you're not happy with the speech quality or something. I didn't put it in this tutorial. Maybe you write in the comments if you want to see how that would be possible because they did it here, but I skipped this part because I wanted to make it as easy as possible. If you're executing this one, it, yeah, it should work. It takes definitely a longer time. I think for 400 words, maybe it takes 40 minutes for me. I will let you know once it's done because now I have to restart my whole notebook and execute it then. And yeah, once that's done, I'll be back. Okay, now we can see that for our 400, around 400 words of text, we got speech generated with like two minutes and 45 seconds. And it took 28 minutes, 59 seconds. So we can say like half an hour. And roughly, I would say with a fast preset mode that it takes around 10 minutes to generate one minute of speech, which is why the model is called Tortoise. It's very slow, but yeah, let's, let's listen to the generated speech. Voice cloning is a technology that allows for the creation of a synthetic version of a person's voice. This technology has a wide range of applications, from improving accessibility for people with speech impairments. I feel like this is a little bit robotic and wouldn't 100% clone my voice. At least that's how I think. Let me know if you think different. And I'm kind of surprised because I feel like it's a little bit worse than the results I had in the first video. And I used the exact same audio sample. We used the same preset. So uh, I don't know. And also we used the exact same comment. So imagine we just have, we run this comment that we in the first video just ran a single time, now run it like, I don't know, for 20 times and afterwards combine those WAV files, the individual we 
generated. But in the end, the sound quality should be the same. So I'm kind of kind of wondering because to me it sounds a little bit worse than the first time. But maybe it's also just uh, my perception today. Yeah. But let me know if you also experienced that. Like the longer version sounds a little bit worse than the shorter version. And yeah, I, I hope this is super helpful for you because many of you have asked me if I could uh, make a video about that. And yeah, let me know uh, what do you think. Yeah, and that's it for today's video. I hope you liked it. I edited this time. I feel a little bit more information. I explained it a little bit more in more detail, the whole video. And let me know in the comments if you liked it, that I explained it more or was it too long, the video? What do you guys think? Uh, because that helps me to improve the videos. And yes, I saw that only 1% of you guys from my watch time in the last 28 days, only 1% were subscribers. So if you want to help me, growing on youtube producing more videos please subscribe to my channel also make sure to give this video a thumbs up and yeah that's it from me for today i hope you learned something you can now create your longer speech with a tortoise model and yes have a great day and see you in the next video bye bye <laughs>